a lot of homework, planning, time, more time, homework, planning, time. Bus talk. Hi, my name is Sean Leach. Hi, I'm Tim Shannon. And this is Bus Talk. Today's episode, we have a really good question. What does it actually take to electrify a depot to get all this gear in the ground, get everything ready for one of these projects? It takes a lot of time. A team of people, CEQA documentation, planning, a lot of homework. There are many, many challenges. Yeah, I mean, we run into these challenges every day at Highland, and you know that's part of sort of the magic of our process in this turnkey solution. School districts, when they work with us, have a huge team of really passionate people that handle these projects, and they take this massively complicated thing of getting this infrastructure built and in the ground, make sure that the depots aren't impacted and that things can continue on through the electrification process. I mean, at the end of the day, we should really hear from the folks that actually build these projects and do the extremely hard work of getting these, these immensely complicated things in the ground, running, powered up, commissioned, and ready to go. So let's take it to Henry and Mark from Hunt Consulting and actually see how this happens. I'd like to see that. Hey, Tim and Sean, Henry Hunt here, on site here with Mark Davis, my partner. We're here at uh, the Bethesda lot and we're working as part of the team. Highland's the designer, we're the implementer, and we're almost halfway through. One, we've connected to utility. Two, we've dug up the parking lot. Three, we've lifted all that dirt. Four, we've laid our new conduit. This is our conduit duct bank. This is where the AC power is run to all the locations. As you can see, we have a bunch more in the future. Five, we're going to put our wire inside the conduit. Six, we're going to backfill with concrete. Seven, we're going to lay our EV chargers exactly where they need to be. And the best part about it is that the buses can operate while we're here. We've been able to keep the operation of the bus lot open. Signing off. Thank you much. Unbelievable how they just put it down step by step. I, I really, it's... It's insane to hear Henry say all that because he just took a months long process and something that is just a colossal amount of work and distilled it down to like a few seconds. Tim, I think at this point, we've sort of pretty well covered what it takes to electrify a depot. Thank you for joining us on Bus Talk. I'm Sean. I'm Tim. Thanks. Bus Talk.